Desiree said one block from the bridge. One of our VRC workers, Desiree, called us about two stray dogs that she was trying to catch and she needed backup. Unfortunately, these two dogs were in a neighborhood just over the bridge, which is a very busy area. I swear to God, we always get dogs from yep. right in that area. You know, you have to be quick with every rescue because these dogs don't always stay in one spot. So the quicker we can move, the better luck we'll have at actually catching the dogs. Okay, okay. Desiree was sitting there with the dogs in somebody's front yard near some trash cans. Oh, she looks like, she looks horrible. Yeah, that's not nice. Hi. Uh, it's okay, okay, my honey. Hi. Elise, unless she's, because she's so down and out, maybe he'll, he'll take treats. Normally when we are trying to rescue two dogs, we are very careful about using treats. With dogs who are living in the streets, who are hungry, there's more of a possibility they may fight over food. Are you protecting her, honey? Look, you can come this way. Hi, it's okay, you're okay. There you go. Good boy. Hi, my baby. Oh my God. You focus on him, I'll focus on her. Hey, bug. Come I see. wonder too if we get her first, if he'll follow. I bet you. So here, let me um, get him closer. <laughs> come here. Here. <laughs> it's okay. Look at. I have some. You're okay, love bug. Come here, my angel. Hi. Hi. Yep. There you go. Hang on. Hang on. You're good. Okay. It's okay. You're good. <laughs> come. It's okay. Come. Come. Okay. Hi. Good girl, my baby. You're okay. There you go. My heart was definitely starting to race when the male dog was coming toward us. When dogs fight over food, it can become really nasty really quickly. You're okay, big guy. Let's just walk her. It's okay, mother. Come on, honey. And maybe we can at least just walk her into it? Yeah. Let me see if she'll just get in. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm leaving the leash on. I'm not messing around with by her head. We thought once we got the female loaded up that the male would follow her, and unfortunately that was not the case. He was still proving to be really difficult to catch. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Tim, go in front of him, go in front of him. He's go not gonna come at you, he would have done it by now. He's scared. You're okay, buddy. You're okay, bud. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yep. Come on, honey. Same spot he was in before come on, in that come gate. On, come on. Come on. Okay, now you... walk towards him. Walk towards him. Walk towards him. Well, I, well, you I think he'll get in? I don't know. Come on. Hey. It's, um. He ran down the street to try to flush him back this way. Is he on the other side of the fence? It was kind of madness, and you want to try to stay as calm as possible because you don't want to spook the dog. So you have to find this balance where you're not like chasing, but you're not losing the dog either. Can he get out of that area or no? He was smart. He knew not to get too close to us. He did not make it easy at all. Please, you know, at that point, I was like, oh my God, this is it. Like, instead of just bringing him back to the rescue, we're gonna be rushing him to the vet. I can hear him, you can hear him, right? Yeah, right, right somewhere in there. He took off into like this area where it was just full of kind of trees and brush. Tim, he's coming back the other way. Okay. Where the f is he? Oh, 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 he's yep. coming straight. He's coming straight. Yeah, I see him. He's tired. Yeah. He might give up soon. Hold up, he's doubling back. Ow, my ankle. <laughs> Where is he, Tim? I'm right here. I'm straight you in. You got him? All right. All right, flush him towards the clearing. He's getting tangled up. You got him? No, he's jumping. He's okay, coming straight him, out. I see him, I see him, I see him. Damn it. Is he coming out? I scared the out of him. It's okay, he's gonna get tired. Wait, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna come this way so he can go that way. Hi. He's getting tired. Ugh. Yes! Oh, baby. 
He definitely was tired because he had slowed down just enough for Elise to toss the leash over his head. Like, if she would have missed, I don't know if we would have been able to catch him. Good work. Good work. Oh, Did yes. you see it? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was beautiful, and it was magical, and you lassoed him. Come on, big guy. You're OK. Come on. Hey, big guy. Look, I'm petting you with the, with the thing. We were able to scan them for a microchip once we got them back to the rescue in their kennels. Not a. Hi. It doesn't have one. Unfortunately, neither of them had microchips. Hey, hey, easy. Ah, ah, ah. I'm obsessed. No engine. Brad and Angelina, they were very scared when they first came in, so we really wanted to introduce them to somebody they hadn't met yet, which was Mariah. He gets jealous. Like I noticed. She's getting it. Come here, Brad. Brad and Angelina. Brangelina. After Hurricane Katrina, Brad Pitt came to New Orleans and put up some houses, and that's the neighborhood that we found these dogs in. So we had two, and they're a pair, so we decided to name them Brad and Angelina. This is incredible, though, because like the first day that we put them back there, and like even the day after, they were still like they weren't lunging at anyone, but they were still like they low were scared, growling. Yeah, now they like can go on walks, and you can go in there and pet them. Yeah, this is a huge difference for her. She was not like this. Look at the tail go now. They're doing really good. And that's what we've been wanting to see, like how they do with someone they haven't met yet. You know, now that they've made so love. much progress. <laughs> Angelina was very sweet with Mariah. She was like nuzzling into her and like snuggling into her and trying to get into her lap. I have to say I was nervous the day that we got them that, you know, they'd have a hard time coming around, but they are pit bulls and they've come around. They've already been vetted. They're heartworm positive. It just sucks that like when dogs have heartworm that they have to be here for so long. I know. Yeah, it's gonna be a couple of months before we can do anything, like other testing they're with them. They're gonna be here for a while. They're gonna be here for a while. I mean, because they came in so scared and growly, they needed more time anyway. Yeah, Not saying they're I'm glad that at they're them positive. Already. We just got them. No, this is huge. This progress is huge. Come here. Thought that they were gonna be a little bit more nervous meeting somebody new, but they did amazing. And you can tell they really do love people. You know, the growling that they were doing initially was really just fear. And they do love people, and they're so sweet and affectionate. Come All right, on. let's take them back. We'll just keep doing what we do and keep, you know, giving them love and affection, keep walking them. That's the best thing that we can do right now while they have to go through treatment. Look at how happy she is now.